We're working with farmers and slaughterhouse workers and at the market doing various different kinds of sampling, including bio aerosol sampling, human nasal wash sampling, and sampling from the pigs as well. We're looking for aerosolization of certain viruses. I'm researching norovirus in children admitted to the pediatric ward in Cebu Hospital, as well as the presence of norovirus in pigs at pig farms throughout Cebu. We have some viruses here that we know are major killers of, of children. So we are looking both for known viruses and then uh, viruses that we um, haven't seen yet. The research that I'm doing is about tortenovirus. Not a lot is really known about it. What I want to know is, is it associated with exposure to wild animals and their meat, which has been suggested by some previous literature? So it is always important to keep ourselves you know, open to the world, to know what is out there, because what happened in Cebu and Sarawak may have the same impact in America. I do believe that we have the opportunity here for the rest of the world to learn from us. We are very, very lucky to have found collaborators that are helping us directly with the enrollment. Dr. Ha is talking to vendors of uh, chickens and ducks and asking if they'd be willing to do a nasal wash and complete a little survey for us so that we can do our study. What's really wonderful is they all speak multiple languages. So they can communicate with us, but they can also communicate with the locals. They understand how important this is to the population that they are working with. There's a lot of patients admitted to this hospital with a very severe pneumonia and we do not know what causes it. And this research is very important because we can know what viruses actually cause it and maybe we can find a way to prevent it. We walk around a market with the sampler on and that collects viruses in the air. A lot of people are very affable at this point in the um, project. Um, they wave hi. We've been given free waters. I'm here to guide the undergrad students in the bioaerosol sampling. I've been guiding them with the extraction as well. So it's important to do disease surveillance for diseases that can cross from pigs to humans because it's pretty common for diseases. We've seen it before with Nipah virus in Malaysia. We're doing this by collecting spit samples from the pigs when they chew on ropes, as well as stool samples from the pigs. Pigs don't poop when you want them to or where you want them to, so we have to get sort of up close and personal with some of the pigs. International relationships are really important, especially with One Health research that is a connection of animal health and human health and environmental health. I think we always welcome this sort of uh, international cooperation because we take it as a platform for uh, us and the international bodies uh, for mutual exchange of ideas. Research in the field is absolutely essential to a career in global health. So being able to see what you've learned in the classroom applied in the field is invaluable. I certainly feel as though I am learning leadership skills and skills that are not necessarily teachable in the classroom. Anybody that is going to be looking at my resume is going to want to know that I have international experience and, and now I have and I've learned so much from this experience and I'm very thankful for it. The Bass Connections project is incredibly important to my future. It's given me a new worldly perspective. To be able to collect our own samples, to run our own tests and then to write it up in a thesis in a two-year master's program is sort of unusual and really exciting that we get the chance to do that with Duke.